Sierra Software Tutorials Hotfix Era Digitizing Methods Using Pixel-Based Images In this video, the second part of the tutorial on digitizing methods, we will explore the tools for digitizing objects using pixel-based artwork images. We have created a new blank design and have set up the same workspace layout we previously used with the Object Manager and Smart Design tabs. We also set the visualization controls to show bling objects and beads with solid colors. In the Part 1 of Digitizing Methods tutorial we have used vector images. In that type of artwork images the contours of the shapes are already defined by the objects that make up the image. When we create our bling objects from a vector image, we use those same contours, without the need to digitize them. In pixel-based images or raster images, there are no contours but only regions of different colors. To create our bling objects we need to digitize those regions. We can do it manually, visually following their edges, or we can use a tool called Autotrace to recognize the contours of the regions in an automated way. Let's talk about raster images and Autotrace. The tool works much better with images with well-defined edges, like the one at left side. Also, we will need images with acceptable resolution, from 150 to 200 pixels per inch. If we use a very small image, when we scale it to fit the size we need for our design, the edges will become jagged and the result will not be good. Let's select one of the sample images using catalogs. Select raster images and browse to select this one. Next, we drag it into the workspace. We will adjust its size using the object inspector. We will choose a vertical size of 250 mm. We center the image using the align group at the main toolbar and selecting center at origin. As we mention in other tutorials, this is not mandatory, but it's a good practice. Our image is almost ready. Let's note that, if we click on it, Hotfix Era select the image to edit it. This behavior could be annoying when we are digitizing, so we will lock the image. This will prevent it from being selected while we are digitizing. Let's create an inner area with uniform fill. We will pick this object and fill combination from the smart design. Then, using the Smart Design toolbar we will select Autotrace as digitizing method. Let's adjust the properties. Spacing to 0.9 mm. Margin to 0.5 mm. Radial type. And this SS4 purple bead. We will also add a automatic border to the object. The automatic border works like a path object but instead of having its own contour, it uses the contour of the inner area. The properties of the border are the same as those of a path object. We will set spacing to 0.7 mm. Beads on path and this SS4 crystal bead. Autotrace works as follows. When we click on a point in the image, the tool gets the color at that point and starts scanning the image following a horizontal line, in both directions, to the left and to the right. This process continues until it finds an edge, that is, a significant color difference with respect to the color of the point where we clicked. Then it marks that point as the start point and begins to navigate the image along that edge, keeping track of the path it is following. It stops when it returns to the marked starting point. So, depending on the point we click, the tool will capture a different contour. We will start capturing the main contour. Clicking here we will capture the internal edge between the brown and black regions. We will expand the captured contour a bit, so that it goes through the center of the black shape. Let's check the width of the black region. Get the Distance and Angle tool. Click and drag. The width is around 2 mm. Hit the escape key to exit the distance and angle tool and, in the trace settings tab of the auto trace box, we will set expansion and compression step to 1 mm. 
Open the context menu with a right click and select Expand Detection. The detected contour now goes through the center of the black edge. As our image has a hole, our next task is to capture it. So, from the context menu we select hole. Let's note that before starting with the hole, Hotfix Era created the main count R. Auto Trace mode is still active, so we click on the white region to capture the edge between the white and black regions. Next, we expand the detection as we did with the main contour. Finally, hit the Enter key. Hotfix Era created an inner object with border as we defined. Let's take a look to the result. We set the view mode to simulation and set a dark background. As we can see, in this very simple example, our design, created from a raster image, was completed in a very few steps. One more example. Let's create a new blank design from the document tabs. Again, using catalogs, let's select this raster image and drag it into the workspace. Adjust its size with the object inspector so as its width becomes 220 millimeters. Next, center it and lock it. We will use a multi-bling outer rings area for this example, so, we will pick it from the smart design. If we take a look to our image, we will notice that the black region has several holes. If we use the auto trace tool, we will need to capture the main contour and each of the whole contours, one by one. Instead of using auto trace, we will use a tool called autocomplete, which will capture all the contours with a single click. Let's adjust the properties. We will set the spacing to 0.9 mm and keep the margin at 0. We will select three outer rings for our object, so we will open the Ring Pattern Editor and select Custom. Set to three rings. The first ring at 0 mm. The second at 1 mm. And the third at 1.5 mm. We will arrange the beads so as the first will be this blue one, the second will be the purple and the third will be the yellow. All them, size SS4. Then, we will click inside the black region, close to the edge with the white one. As we can see, Autocomplete detected the contours off all the regions of our image. We just need to hit enter. Hotfix Era created an outer area object with several holes and with multicolor rings. Again, as this is a simple design, just a very few clicks were enough to complete it. Let's set simulation view mode and a dark background to watch the result. As always, in the chapter Bling Digitizing, section Auto Trace Digitizing we will find details of the tools we have used in this video. Thank you for watching.